walk, dinner, sleep. Sleep, walk, walk, drinks, sleep. Sleep, sleep, walk, 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 more walk, delays on the train home, sleep. Sleep, sleep, gym, laundry, sleep. Sleep, do my nails, shake my legs, do my face mask, get a head start on my emails, eye closed for a week, sleep. Hey Ben, how are you? Do you want to catch up soon? It's been ages. Oh God, it's Emma. I've been neglecting her. There's definitely anger there. Oh God, when am I free? Um, uh, maybe next month, 8th of March? Shit, is that too much? Does that make me seem like a bitch? <laughs> Hey, do you want to hang out this weekend? <laughs> oh God, uh, maybe I could give you an hour on Saturday. I'm not due to shave my legs until Sunday. <laughs> well, I could move that, but then... Catch up at four. Oh God, catch up. That's not good. That's never good. I better get this work done before she asks about it. I can work through my lunch. Did I bring... Shit, no. Okay, if I go to Pratt at 12.30, hopefully the line won't be too long. Okay. Oh, God. Now it's two. And I'm starving. Well, loads of the people here seem to not eat lunch. Well, loads of the women. They just seem to sit there all day, occasionally nibbling out a biscuit. I can't work hungry. I'll lose concentration or I'll go down, but this email seems urgent, so I'll just... Oh God, I'll go down now. But I bumped into Tim. Tim's my superior, he wants to chat, but God, it's 3.30, so I'll just have to do this. Do you need to have a little talk about your attitude? My attitude? I'm just not feeling that you're dedicated to this job. I stay late every day. We all stay late. <laughs> she never does. She arrives every day at 11 and leaves at 5. We also need to talk about your voice. My voice? We'd like it to be different. Well, I don't know. Well, it definitely needs to be different when you answer the phone. Oh. But if you could work on changing it for, like, all the time, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like this. Hello. Malinowitch Management. How may I help you? Try it. Hello, Manuel Witch Management. How may I help you? No, a lot more happy. You sound miserable. We don't want people to think this is a miserable place to work, do we? Hello, Manuel Witch Management. How may I help you? Try it again. Hello, Manuel Witch Management. How may I help you today? It's not right. So hello, Manuel Witch Management. How may I help you today? You're just not getting it. Hello, Manuel Witch Management. How may I help you today? Then can I suck your dick for you? <laughs> what about your clip? If you come down right now, I'll perform oral sex on you. Anything you want. That's just how fucking till they have to be. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> that was not the sound of someone who likes their job. If you could work on speaking like that all the time, I'd appreciate it. After that, weekly catch-ups was a thing. I would wake the morning of them with a sick feeling in my stomach and she, she, would be giddy all day leading up to them. An hour each week to pick apart my personality and watch me squirm. And she didn't even have time for them. I know that. I'm her assistant. I would have people calling me every day, screaming at me about things that she didn't do, but she, she still took the time. And to everyone else, she was this great money but to, me. <laughs> to me, I saw her for what she really was. A psychopath. We need to talk about your desk. Your hair. Do you think that skirt is a pair of wet wool? You look tired today. Oh, it was relentless. You need to work on your posture. You're always slumped over. What the hell? If a client came in and saw you slumped at your desk, what would they think? A client has never seen me at my desk. That would literally never happen. Do you have a history of depression? Sorry? You seem depressed. Do I? Are you depressed? Uh, Do you have a history of depression in your family? Yes. Could you work on that? Work on that? <laughs> yes. If you could put that in the minutes for the next catch-up, stop being depressed. <laughs> if you could do that right away, I'd appreciate it if you'd do it ASAP. I just wanted a creative job. That's all I wanted. <laughs> I applied for like millions. Most of the millions.
to be paid in leftover sandwiches and vague, well-meaning but unhelpful advice. <laughs> Job in the arts. To be paid in the unfulfilled hopes and dreams of your ancestors. <laughs> fought through cholera, childbirth, genocides and corsets. So their great, 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 great granddaughter can refresh Twitter and fetch lattes. <laughs> Job in the arts. Your pay is that slightly impressed, oh cool, that someone says whenever you tell them what your job is. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Job in the Arts. POC, trans, queer, non-binary, disabled applicants are encouraged to apply. Although we would love it if you acted completely like a white, cis, uh, able-bodied, straight person. Don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. <laughs> Job in the Arts. POC, trans, queer, people, welcome. However, we would love it if you could be all of those things, because that would mean that this diversity thing is kind of like, done. <laughs> that, would be, that would be a massive load of us, and actually would make us feel better about our staff being like staggeringly white. I'm talking like, see all their veins. <laughs> In red, like white. <laughs> After two unpaid internships, one where they dangled the paid job in front of me and ended up giving it to their nephew. <laughs> I finally got this job and I was thrilled. My parents were delighted because I had a job and they could show me off to their friends and I, I had somewhere to go every day and something to tell people when they asked me how everything was going and it was in a cool office in Central. And yes, I might have to spend a small fortune trying to get there from my flat in zone 7, but that didn't matter. And yes, my boss seemed kind of strange, but I didn't care. I was finally going somewhere. I just wasn't standing still. Catherine, can you go to Tobias's press night on Friday? Oh, I didn't know that. I, I thought that ticket was for you. It's just that I'm slowed under this week, but it would be nice to have someone there from the company to support him. Uh, it's just, it, it's my friend's birthday on Friday. Oh, I see. The next day. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine has offered to go and see Tobias's turn in 12 nights, so she will tell us all about it at the next meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I was stuck. I couldn't say I wasn't going. I've never heard of anyone from the office say they couldn't go to something before, especially because of a friend. Nobody seems to have, like, outside lives, or, like, friends, or needs, or wants, or bodies, or bladders, or anything. And Tobias? Tobias doesn't even know who I am. He's met me twice, and both times he called me Jessica and stared at my chest. But I should go, right? Oh, I need to text my friend. So I text her. Happy birthday! And she replies asking me if I'm coming on Friday and I say, yeah, because, I don't know, maybe I want to be there. Because maybe I want to have a good time with my friends because I never do anything fun anymore. I just work, 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 and go home. I need this. I could leave at the interval. Yes! If I pick up my tickets and find out enough so I'm not lying at the meeting on Monday, and then I can make the drinks. I go. That is long. <laughs> <laughs> the play is boring. <laughs> In some big fake theatre that no one cares about. <sighs> Tobias is never going to be famous. He's terrible. But he's a charmer and he's charmed her into thinking that he's going to be huge. Shouldn't the interval have happened already? Oh God, when will it end? Okay, finally, I peg it out. <laughs> and I've already figured out the best route on City Mapa. What? The Northern Line suspended. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'll get a bus. Shit, I'm going to be late. They already know I'm going to be late, but now I'm going to be later than the late time that I already told them. Oh, my phone's blowing up. Where are you? They're moving on to a club. I say, go without me. I change course. I get there. Cover charge is ten pounds. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
minutes crafting. <laughs> oh, sorry. Just got this. Phone ran out. Tried to look for Tobias but couldn't find him. Sorry. No reply. I fucked it. I know I fucked it. Why didn't I just say I couldn't go? Or pretend to be ill? Or anything? I spend the rest of the weekend just anxiously waiting for Monday. Not sleeping, not relaxing, just a ball of nervous energy. I should work out. I should make healthy meals. But no, I should do my laundry. No, I should pluck my eyebrows. I do none of those things. I just spend the weekend refreshing Instagram and ordering delivery. I go into work. I feel sick. We need to catch up. I'm not enthusiastic enough. She's not sure this is working out. She's extending my probation period. I can get let go at any minute. She starts criticising me for everything. Every little typo is torn apart. She starts criticising me for my looks, my work, or how much I speak to my co-workers. <laughs> everything. I can't take it. But what can I do? I can't start all over again. I've only been here for six months and I can't complain. We don't have any job. Hmm. And she's friends with the company director. I'm stuck. Well, it's not fair. I shouldn't have to start again. I'm not going to be a failure. I won't be a failure. I'm 26, and some of my friends have already started. They're already a couple of, of stead, couple of steps ahead on the career ladder. I can't give up now. Oh, one of the other agents seems to quite like me. He's younger and quite nice, and he hasn't got an assistant yet, but maybe soon. But would I be allowed? No. She wouldn't let that happen. She'd torpedo me. Did you hear about Lydia? Lydia? Your boss's old assistant? She works at Shelley and Simon. No. She died. Oh no, what of? They're still trying to figure it out. My boss's old assistant did a five year stint with her and then got an agent job at Shelley and Simon. Well, no one ever talks about her. I don't know anything about her. Lydia's assistant's in bits. They were really close. Really? They've given her this job in New York. What? To make up for the grief, apparently. Well, that was her visa and everything. <sighs> apparently, she'll be working with Ryan Gosling's agent. That's not... How's that fair? <sighs> well, that's the problem with this industry. It's all about luck. Knowing someone. Bumping into someone. I'm not a schmoozer. I'm hard-working, kind of. Hmm. I'm smart. I'm real smart. I know that. I'm wily. And I know this industry. I can make things work for me. I could be dedicated. I could do her job better than her. But that's the thing. My friend got an agent job after only one year. Someone quit and she was there. But that's the problem. It's all about luck. Being in the right place at the right time. Fuck's sake! <laughs> well, maybe I've got a crate of good time. It could be so easy. We could be working late in the office. Sometimes she makes me work late. 
If she comes in late and decides to stay in the office until 8, it, it doesn't matter if I've been there since 9, I have to stay until then. And sometimes, sometimes it's just the two of us. Every day I have to hear her voice, her relentless voice, and it just permeates through my whole life, and, and it seeps into my skin and into my blood, and up into my head until I'm hearing it light, and I, and I just, I just wish, I just wish that I could make it stop, make it stop for once and for all. Twice. In the head. <laughs> I mean, I'm joking. <laughs>